Get out of there as well. I've invested in a decent ASR meter. An Atlas brand. It wasn't too badly priced either, so I was really uh, in need of one of these. Let's actually uh, give it some tests. It's all um, pretty good little uh, unit actually. Quite, I'm quite happy with it. Made in England. 23A slash MNT1 12 volt battery it operates on, which lasts for ages. This company's got a transistor tester and semiconductor tester and a couple of other test components. The leads are gold plated, these are clips, and they swivel, which I quite like. No twisting, uh, no wires to twist up and be a pain in the ass. Another thing I um, found out, a bit of a misspell there. Osteralia. But it didn't have any problems getting to me on time. Just in time for Christmas. It's quite a... This is the only bad cap I've found. It charged up alright, but I thought it was good, but this disagrees. It says it's open circuit or leaky. Unfortunately. I think these three here are way off microfarads. This is measured about 30 something even though it's a 24. This was about 50 something even though it's a 25. This was about the same even though it's a 25 microfarad. So they'll, they'll need reforming. Alright, let's give this a uh, demonstrate this unit. So if you were to start with these, just to prove and I just did in circuit tests on this uh, clock radio. Alright, let's uh, plug this uh, telegraph condenser company manufactured capacitor in. Okay, it's 11.02 microfarad and it's a 24 microfarad, so it's about half what it should be. 0.38 ohms. Which seems okay. So it's a, on the quantity of the chase, is a 300 volts, so look at the 250 volts that was the closest I can get. And it's a 24 microfarad. 2.9 ohms. That's its typical ESR reading. This is 0.38, so it's pretty good. So that one here can come good with a bit of reforming. This uh, Australian made Jucon capacitor. I think it's, I don't, know, I don't know if that stood for durable condenser. I don't know, I've always wondered. They stopped making capacitors here 50 years ago, so let's test this thing on test. Well, that's what I'm talking about anyway, the consumer um, stuff. 66.21 microfarad, 10.6 ohms. It's pretty bad. It's a 25 microfarad at 25 volts, so 25 microfarad at 25 volts. Should be 6.2 ohms, this is 10.6, so I reckon this is definitely needs to be reformed. That's way off. That's just over twice the uh, microfarads it should be, so that definitely needs reforming. Let's try this one. I think that's that's a G-Con as well. Alright, this is a 25 microfarad, 40 volts peak or surge. Left the leads a bit too bloody short. Fifty-two point sixteen microfarad. It's double what it should be. 0.38 ohms. So Twenty-five at forty. Twenty-five at in that range. Five point one ohms is point three eight ohms. So it's pretty good ASR. Just needs to be reformed. It's double its uh, microfarad that it should be. There's a probe compensation test you got to do on this as well soon. Alright. These are all tested okay. They weren't too far off these capacitors, so there's really old there over Vox G-Cons. Um, they're pretty darn close, so they'll come up with a little bit of a basic reform. These need a mega reform. Let's test this one with tested open circuit. I think this one here was out of my 1950 uh, AWA. 527MA um, radiola. Oh, it's dead. 
So you can't just rely on the charge method to see if they're okay. This thing definitely is gonna um, help me with uh, troubleshooting electronics. 60 year old caps dead. Must have dried out. All right, let's do this uh, radio. I've got a very short lead to grab onto, so it's gonna be a bit tricky. See if I can get one of these filter caps. Let's try this 10 volt 1000 microfarad one. It's in a nasty spot. Um, where am I going here? We go. I guess there and there, so I'll set this camera up and look at the screen. Might have to get my tripod in, so let's see how this works out. Power on. I think that's where the capacitor is. It's uh, 0.24 ohms ESR in circuit and it's leaky. 0.24 ohms. Okay. It said it's in circuit. This uh, 10 volt 470 microfarad capacitor is leaky according to this. Ah. This might need a recap. Okay, this capacitor here, which is a. Which one was I looking at? That first one, that was a 470. This is a 1000 microfarad 10 volt. Let's give that one out a test. Which is somewhere here. I think it's one lead there and one lead there. So let's give that a test. See if that's the right spot. This will tell me otherwise if I'm in the wrong spot. Analyzing. 0.14 ohms ESR. Yep, that's okay. 1862 microfarads. 0.14 ohms. And that's the main filter cap, so that one's good. 1000 microfarads. It's gone up by 862 microfarads. It's not too far off. I just keep using the radio in the meantime, it might help to reform that capacitor. But extra microfarads means extra filtration, so. It's got pretty good audio, there's no harm coming to the speaker on this at all. Turn that back on. It's got auto power off this thing. This is a 10 volt 470 microfarad. Let's test this one. I've got the right one. Point two, point 0.24 ohms. Point 0.24 ohms, 1834 microfarad. And that's only a 470 microfarad, 10 volt, it says it's that much. Alright, let's give this another one here a test. 220 microfarad, 10 volt. Point 0.3 ohms. Point 0.3 ohms, 1664 microfarads. And that's this one here, which is only a 220 microfarad. But this one here definitely tested it was leaky, so I might try replacing that. So let's get my little secondhand salvage caps and test and test and see which one's the best condition I can put in here. So I'll just put a red mark on that capacitor to test it bad in case so I can keep the track. Reviewers so far, they all tested good. This one's a 989.6 microfarad, 0.06 ohms. So it's a little bit low on microfarads, but not too bad. This uh, Rubicon, oh, no not that one, sorry, this one, from a computer motherboard, was uh, pretty close to the uh, microfarad and it was 0, 0.00 ohms. It's got no ESR whatsoever. So that one's in really good nick. You can see there's a 1000 micro, microfarad at 10 volt by today's standards. And there's one from um, when this radio was made. You can see how bloody tall it was. You see how they've shrunk, that's about three times the height of this capacitor. You see the technology, in the, even in the, capacitor, in the capacitors, able to shrink them down. So, I might change that one now anyway. Stuff it. I've got some there. That one's tested okay. Let's test the next one. Let's try this Panasonic one. There you go, viewers. Rubicon, definitely the best for the lowest ESR. There's a couple of Rubicons in here, and they had zero 
zilch ASR, so I'm impressed. All of those caps are still good. So keep those as spares and let's uh just change these two capacitors in here. Even though that one I tested okay, but I'll just change this one here for now. That's the 470 mark, 10 volt. Doesn't matter if it's like these are 16 volts. Might matter. So soldering on heat, heat it up and change that cap. Okay viewers, just for shits and giggles, let's test this capacitor. This is an oil filled type capacitor, so not a, not a standard electrolytic. Here's 126 microfarads. Let's put the ESR meter on it. See what it says, just for the hell of it. Be interested in the result I get. Alright, I have to try and get a these are clip on. Okay viewers, just for the hell of it, let's see what happens. Oh look at that, 125.4 microfarad, 2.7 ohms ESR. Yeah, that's not the type of capacitor this thing's meant to test, but it's going to be the right reading. Pretty close to its uh, microfarad reading there. 126 and it's 125.4 so it's gone down by 0.6 microfarads 2.7 ohms ESR internal discharge 1000 mega ohm resistor even though the fuses may be popped it still picked up the uh, reading off it can of yours our electrolytic capacitors are placed to power on Yeah, it's still a bit of a short there. Turns the radio off. Radio off and it's still shorted. Oh. Still a bit of a short there, but these instruments didn't help track down the problem. Anyway, that'll be enough for now. Thanks for watching.